I like Big Bunsen, I cannot lie. Dun, 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 dun. Not gonna sing the rest of the song because it swears and also copyright, so. Today on Baking It Easy, I'm showing you how to make a bunt cake. Welcome to Baking It Easy. <laughs> so bunts are a really, really, really easy cake to make. They're hard to f up, so if you do f it up, Congratulations, that's pretty actually impressive. So to level up and modernify, I am switching it up by making it really zesty and tangy and very delicious and it's gonna be a big bunt. So the biggest mistake I find, not I find, because I don't do it, I'd never make mistakes, is actually measuring the wrong amount of their ingredients. So if you're like getting a big old scoop of flour and you like pack it on in there, it really is way too much. So for this, we're actually going to spoon it in. You can even break it all up so it gets nice and fluffy in there. And we don't want to tightly pack it. It didn't ask to be suffocated. It asks for space and room to breathe. Get it all the way to the corners and then, ah. And that's actually a cup. It is tedious. Yay, aren't you so glad you measured it correctly? So now that all of my flour is accurately measured, I'm going to move on to creaming my butter and sugar together. Come to papa. So in here, I'm going to put my butter and my sugar. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. So once the butter and sugar have creamed together, you can see they're very light and fluffy. So now it's about to get zesty up in here. I have grapefruit zest, orange zest, and then our lemon zest. Let's beat it on up. Ooh, it's so pretty. And you can really smell it. I mean, you can't smell it, I can smell it. But if you're making this at home, you can smell it now. So now I'm gonna add my eggs in one at a time. And if you're not so amazing at cracking eggs like me, which is karma, I'm totally about to get a bunch of shells in the bowl, you can crack them into a separate bowl so you can check if you get shells and then pour them in one at a time. Now that all of the eggs are mixed in, I'm going to add the almond extract. And this also brings like a fresh almondy thing to the party that is this bunt. Because big bunts are always a party. Gonna mix that in. Now I'm gonna add the salt to my flour and then my baking soda will go in this corner. I'm going to alternate between my dry and my wet because that's going to ensure that we don't over mix it and then that will prevent us from developing the gluten too much, which in not scientific terms, just means that it won't be a light and fluffy cake. And slowly incorporate. Now I'm gonna add half of my sour cream and I'm gonna add all of my buttermilk and mix it on up. Too much. I'm gonna add like, almost all of my flour except for the stuff that I'm spilling on the counter and mix it again. I'm gonna add another big hunk of the sour cream. And I'm using sour cream in this because not only is it really creamy, obviously, and it's gonna have a really nice texture and moistness, but it also is gonna add that tang, which is gonna go really well with all of the citrus. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the flour. This is so exciting! And I'm going to add the rest of my sour cream, and then I'm gonna wash my hands, because I've gotten really messy. Everything is incorporated now and I'm going to prepare my pan. So this is a swirly bunt pan. It's the official name. No, it's not actually. But bunt pans don't have to be boring. There isn't just one shape. I mean, there's one like general shape, but there's lots of cool designs that you can get. So it doesn't have to be the same basic old one. It can be fun. Like swirls are fun. Cause you can say like swirly. It's just very sh swirly bunt. So one of the mistakes that people make when you're using intricate pans like this that have lots of nooks and crannies, is not accurately prepping your pan. So for that, I'm going to use a brush with oil, but it's important that you get it in literally every single crack. When you don't grease it properly, it doesn't come out properly, and you're just gonna have like chunks missing, and it's gonna look like someone ate parts of it. And next, I'm going to use some flour to dust it all in here. Move it all the way around. Tap that bun. Now that I've got my flour, I'm gonna get the excess out by just flipping it. Now that this is all greased and floured, I'm going to pour my batter in. Oh gosh, okay, Oh, so heavy. 
So I'm gonna smooth it out just so it gets into the corners. Don't be weird. Just like be normal. Now that it's all filled, I'm going to put this in an oven that's at 350 degrees for about an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean. Not in the center, because there is no center, but like in the center of the where there's actually cake. So my cake is out of the oven and it has cooled, and now it's time for the fun part. Well, we have to get over the uh, hump of um, actually taking it out and hoping that it comes out all in one piece. But first, I'm going to saw off this little like bumpy top part, and I'm just gonna use this giant knife. And I'm gonna use the edge of the pan kind of to guide me just straight along that. Let's be, let's move my hand. This knife is so big. It's not worth my hand to be. Ooh, it smells so zesty. So once you've sawed the top off, I'm now going to flip it on to my serving tray. Prepare the Olympics 20, whatever year it is. Oh, look at that. Not the center, exactly like I meant it to be. And now, the moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if it comes out in one piece. Oh! Wow. Now I'm going to add powdered sugar, dusting all over the top, like a slope, like a, where you ski down it. But how do you get back up? It doesn't have a little lift. Oh, it's so pretty. So I have some segmented oranges and grapefruits here, but I also have figs and raspberries. And maybe an orange. Okay, this will go, I can go here. And all the citrus juices will soak into the cake and make it even more citrusy and zesty. No, that's weird. So I have too many options, so I'm just gonna quit while it's still pretty. And I'm not gonna use the rest of the fruit, but I'm going to add some more powdered sugar because I still can't shut up the Morris more Jean. So now, I'm gonna be extra, 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 read all about it, or just look at it, cause I'm putting gold leaf on. Oh my gosh, come back. No, oh no, oh no. Sorry. Like, this is edible food safe gold, and the key with this is you don't want to use your fingers cause it's too warm and it'll like stick to everything. So I'm using a paintbrush, and I'm just going to add it to some of this citrus, just cause I'm extra. Do you think rich people just like keep that at home to put on their food? Would you like some gold with your bagel? It's cool, it's a little weird. And I did it, I'm done. Time. This is my finished bunt cake. I think it looks really pretty. As you guys saw, it was super, super easy to make. But then if you spend a little extra time decorating, invest in some gold leaf, you really don't have to do that. But I think it added a lot to this. It looks really pretty and very inviting. The things to remember when making a bundt cake is first, make sure that you are measuring your flour correctly, which really goes for all baking recipes in general, so spoon and level. Then when using a pan with a really intricate design, really make sure that you grease it and then you flour it so you can get it in all of the nooks and crannies and it comes out with the design you actually intended it to have. And then finally, really decorate it however you want. I love decorating with the things that I've used inside of the cake. So citrus, but you can use fruit, glazes, frostings, ganaches, crumbles, anything. Or cover the entire thing in gold leaf, which, that's bougie. I'm here for it, we should be friends. Do you have a yacht? I look great on a yacht. I've never been on a yacht, but I feel like I'd look good on a yacht. Welcome to the 21st century, bunty boy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye.